Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'm going to show you some techniques for painting lightning. Uh, now I've covered my canvas in gray, so just a, like a lot of white and a little bit of black, and then I'm drying it. So this is just my base coat for everything else. Um, and I'm going to start out painting this in black and white, and then we'll add color later. Uh, and so this will show you that, you know, you may just want it in black and white, and then you wouldn't do that last step of adding color. But um, to get everything on the canvas without having to worry about getting the right colors and all that, because you can add the colors later. So obviously I'm using a ruler to, to get a straight line for my water. And my ruler left some black up here, so I'm just kind of covering that up. All right, so there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in this sky. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put in some of the background stuff of that. But I want my, my corners especially, I want them to be darker so that it draws your eye into the center of the painting where the focal point is going to be, which is the lightning bolt. So I want uh, this kind of vignette effect. Okay, so now this is a um, hog bristle brush. And even though it's a stiff bristled brush, you wouldn't think it would make a soft uh, kind of blend, but it does. So um, I like using it. I'm, I actually use it when I paint portraits and everything because it, it gives me that soft look for the skin so uh, so it works well with clouds and things like that um, and on the sky you're really just going to have to kind of play around with your colors and your shades and all that and um, just put some stuff in the background going on like maybe there's clouds back there or whatever uh, you can use some of the techniques that I'm using, but obviously you're gonna make your own. It's not gonna be exactly like mine. Um, but I just don't want any, at this point, I don't want any harsh harsh lines. I want this to kind of um, slowly, gradually fade to lighter toward the middle. All right, now I'm gonna put my dark clouds in. So this is almost black, not quite. And so I'm just kind of scrubbing in some cloud shapes. And you don't have to have the same shape of clouds, but what you do need is some dark clouds up there where the lightning bolt is going to come out of. So the shape is not as important as the fact that they're dark and there's a place for the, for the lightning bolt to come out. So I've got my um, clouds in and I've kind of fuzzed out the edges because I don't want any like hard lines. And now I'm going in with just black into the center of the clouds so that they're, they're darker in the center. So I'm not going all the way out to the edges with this black.
All right, and then the, the corners, I want them to be really dark so, you know, you can make it look like there's clouds up there too. And while there's a lot of paint on your brush, you can put these in and then once there's not so much paint, you can come back and kind of kind of fuzz them out a little bit. Okay, now I've decided to, I'm making this up as I go, but um, I've decided I want the sides a little bit darker too. Not, not black like the top corners, but darker so that, again, it draws the eye into the center of the painting. Okay, so with a clean brush, I picked up some white, and I don't want a lot of paint on my brush at this point, um, but I'm just in like a circular motion, just kind of scrubbing in some some white up here where the, where the lightning bolt's going to be coming out of the clouds, so it would be the, bright, the very brightest right there, and then just gradually kind of fade it off. And as you know, acrylic paint, when it dries, it, especially white, it just kind of dulls down. So there's going to be several times that we have to go back and brighten that up. I'm sure there are a lot of hog bristle brushes that work just as well as these, but um, if you want these, which are my favorite ones, and and no, I'm not sponsored by anybody, but um, but I like these Pro Stroke brushes because um, out of all the hog bristle brushes I've tried. They just, they work the best. And like I said, I use them for um, portrait painting and they work really well for that. So, um, but if you want those, I'll put a link in the description below and you can um, at least see where, they, where you can find those. So down here at the water line, um, the sky is always lighter at the horizon. So, um, I mean, lighter than the rest of the sky, except up there where the lightning bolt's coming out, obviously. But, all right, so now I'm using a script liner brush. And if you'll notice, when it's dry, it's all fuzzed out. But once you wet it, it's very sharp and pointed. And... So I'm going to use it to go ahead and kind of sketch in my my main lightning bolt or the main part of my lightning bolt, like the center part that's thicker. Uh, and it's not thick right now, but I'm just kind of putting my shape in. And then with, um, with my hog bristle brush again, I'm 
fuzzing it out. That's the best way I know to describe it. Uh, I want I want it to be almost blurry around it, like a glow around the the lightning bolt. So there's several steps to this, and uh, this is just the first of many. But we'll be coming back to it quite a bit. Um, but the first thing we want to do is get it like really bright. And again, it's white acrylic paint, so it will dull down. So that's one reason that we have to go back to it. But um, also because there's just several layers and several steps to this. And especially once once I get the color on there, um, I'll be using blue. Once I get the blue on there, then obviously you have to go back and, and brighten up the white then. I've got another uh, tutorial for lightning and it's it's an older one. I think it was a couple of years ago. And it's a longer video. So I tried to kind of condense this one. Um, so that you don't have to watch all of that. So I've cut out things like rinsing my brush. And um, I've sped up like the drying process and all that. So uh, hopefully that will help you to to not get too bored with it. So now I'm just putting in the reflection in the water and I'm just using the skinny part of the brush for that. I'm still, this is still the hog bristle brush. Um, throughout this whole painting, I only used that, that soft mop brush that, that I was using for the background and this hog bristle, bristle brush and the liner, the script liner brush. So those are the only three brushes I used in this. Uh, keep in mind when you're putting in like highlights in the water, waves are smaller toward the horizon line because they're further away. So they look smaller back there. And then as you come up closer like toward the bottom of the canvas then um, you can make them wider. All right so now I'm going back to the to the lightning bolt again and what I'm doing with this brush is like I picked up paint on it but then I rubbed it off on to a paper towel so that I'm almost dry brushing and I'm just kind of tapping this in and giving that um, creating that kind of glow. If you're the type of person that wants like instant gratification, this is probably not the painting for you because it does take several steps um, on this lightning bolt and on the sky. So, you know, you you do a step and then you move on to something else and then you come back to that step so or come back to that part of the painting so um it takes patience but this this really is a nice effect it uh it's probably the closest to as far as a painting goes especially a quick painting um the closest to realistic lightning that that I've come up with so here I am again playing around with the sky and getting getting the coloring the way I want it or the shading because keep in mind that with with lightning, even though that's really our main focus, there's still other things that are going on in the sky. So you can't um, you can't just 
focus on the lightning. You have to kind of make it look like there's action back there. And when you're painting this, it might it might not take quite as many um, coats as I do because uh, you know your paint may be more opaque or um, or you know it, it might take more if your paint is not quite as opaque. So um, you can be the judge of that as you do it. All right, now for the little, uh, we'll call them branches that come come off the main bolt, um, you bar I'm barely touching the canvas with this liner brush. And also I'm skipping places. So this is not a solid line. I'm intentionally skipping little, uh, little places in the lightning because there's gonna be things in the atmosphere that kind of block what you're seeing so it looks more realistic if you just if you let your brush kind of skip as you go that's probably one of the main things that I've seen in lightning paintings that looks makes it look not so real is that they um, they don't they don't skip around with this they um make like solid lines and it just it just doesn't look real so uh make sure you keep that in mind when you do it because that's that's the only way you're going to get a real effect the main bolt is not um you don't skip on it it's a solid line but the little branches that come off of it um, they're never all solid. There might be some that are, but for the most part, they're not. Um, and now I'm just using the very tip of the brush and putting in some little specks of highlight on the on the water. This is backlighting on the cloud, on the clouds where, um, where the lightning bolt comes out. All right, now at this point, I want to make sure that it's very, very dry. And now I've put some blue on my plate, and with that mop brush that, that I used for the background, um, I'm going to water down that blue, get it nice and thin because this is just going to be a glaze. So I'm going to glaze over the whole thing. Kind of get rid of my brush strokes. You could use any color for this. Um, I've seen skies with green, like paintings of skies with green, uh, with kind of a green cast to it, or purple, or uh, obviously blue, or uh, pink. Pink is a good one. So, and now I'm just going back with, without the watered down blue. It's just, it's just blue paint to kind of put in some deeper color just in some of the darker areas. And then going over the water again to kind of make it more blue. And 
Now with black, I'm not using very much black, but I want to, on the, on the sides of the water, I want to kind of darken it and then put some shadows into my waves. And I'm just using the skinny part of the brush for that. This will add a lot of depth to your water, a lot of dimension. And keep in mind, again on this, that the farther back they are, the smaller they are. So as you come up toward the front, then you'll, you can make bigger strokes. But when you're way back there at the horizon line, they need to be small. All right, now, now that I've got that blue on there, I've got to come back and brighten my white again. Now, when you're, when you're brightening the little branches, you're not going to brighten all of it. Like, you want some of it to be that light blue color and then in places it's gonna there's gonna be like little pops of white and again this will add to the realism of it Yours is going to look a lot different than mine because everybody's looks different. But so, so you'll just have to look at yours and see where you need more light. And um, you might even have to go back and put in more dark. So, but I do suggest though that uh, before you put in your lightning bolt, make sure that the sky behind it is the way you want it because. It's really hard to go back between those uh, branches and change your sky. So just get that the way you want it first. Putting a little, a few little specks in the water to to highlight those little waves. And you could get as detailed with this as you want. Um, I, I don't didn't want the video to be too long, but but I could have I could have been more detailed with it. But this at least shows you how shows you some techniques that you can use to to do this. So now I'm dry brushing some more white in to kind of brighten up that sky up there. Make sure your brush is fairly dry so that it it's easy to uh, it's not blending it's easy to kind of fuzz it out I guess And you, you can kind of feel like you're not accomplishing much while you're dry brushing like this. But if you see 
the step right before and right after, it's, it makes a big difference. And now this is putting an extra little glow around the lightning bolt. That's another thing that makes lightning paintings not look real is they don't have that glow around them. They just have the lightning bolt and um, real lightning always has that glow around it. So that is it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this and um, maybe I've inspired you to try it. And thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time and God bless you.